Mario and Sonic are two iconic game franchises who people have been wanting to cross over. But because some people at Sega can't think of an idea for a crossover game for some reason, they decided to go with the Olympics instead. And for a while, the games were fun. The opening movies always brought smiles to my face seeing the pairs of characters interacting. 2008 was a fresh start, with the 2010 and 2012 Olympic Games being the most beloved by fans. However, after London 2012, the series began to drop in terms of content, charm and such. Uh, let me explain. The first game, the Beijing 2008 Olympic Games, started out simple. It was the first game. 16 characters, a few events, and introduced dream events, which were sports taking place and elements from the Mario & Science series. The controls, though, weren't really that good. Some of the events were fun, yeah, but again, the controls really weren't that good. Vancouver 2010 and later London 2012 greatly improved with everything else and their content by adding in Bowser Jr., Metal Sonic, DK, and Silver, and the, the Dream events were taking more emphasis on the worlds of the franchises and added a story mode on the DS versions. 2010's Wii version had a festival mode, which is kind of like a story mode, and 2012 had London Party, which had a wide amount of minigames. Both of these entries were highly praised and were dubbed the peak of the games, where afterwards, it began to drag. During the Wii U era, we got Sochi 2014, the first of the Mario & Science series to not get a handheld version for some reason. While the graphics were great, the game itself was kind of boring. Sure, some of the events can be fun, like some of the dream events, they were fun. Dream figure skating and dream bobsleigh, they were fun. But it really does lose its luster, especially since they really didn't add anything new, and the online was really lacking. Even the soundtrack couldn't save it. Rio 2016 was a step up from Sochi. We got a handheld version again, with story mode again, adding in a hub world, they removed the motion controls and settled for just buttons for some reason, I didn't really mind it, and then collectibles, and even finally, new characters! Or so we thought. See, we haven't had any new characters to the roster since 2010. Yes, since 2010! So imagine our happiness finding out that we will be finally getting new characters and a truckload of them. Rosalina, Jet, Root, some of the Koopalines, Cream, Wave, so many! It made us fans, myself included, so happy! Only to discover they restricted them to one event each, labeling them as guest characters. Yeah, the bots aren't lied to us. Toad is only in Relay, Zavok in Boxing, Rouge is only in Volleyball or Golf in the 3DS version, Rosalina is in Gymnastics. Why they decided to do this and bait us like that? I have zero idea. The characters aren't even the same in some versions. Like, Roy and Ludwig aren't in the Wii U version or Omega. And then the events are significantly lower than the past entries. And they removed dream events for these dual events or plus events? Why? After that, we didn't get a 2018 Winter Games because Ubisoft has the license for Winter Games. So we can't ever expect a Winter Game ever again, which means that currently now, Sochi was literally the last Winter Games we'll ever get. Unless Sega buys Lessers back. Years later, we got the announcement of Tokyo 2020. It was a bit of a step up again. The characters now all wear outfits specifically for the events. As the previous titles only had the girls changing their outfits, which I greatly appreciated seeing. It was kind of weird seeing Mario and Eggman swim in their outfits in their usual clothes. The game definitely has quality, but not enough quantity. The events and story mode are fun. The retro stuff was neat, we even got some dream events, but still some bad stuff. Since the 3DS was basically done, we didn't get a handheld version again. And there's not a lot of remix music, since we only have three dream events. And once again, they didn't add any new characters and restricted them 
to one event each. In fact, not every event even has a guest. Why do they keep doing this? Why? Characters like Rosalina or Espio or Rouge or Jet or Diddy Kong should have been on the roster since 2012. No me's either. Seriously, it cannot be that hard to add these characters into the roster. I'm not asking for 80 characters plus, but put in the ones that we expect to see in the main roster. I mean, Rosalina has been a mainstay in more sports games in recently. And you can't like and you honestly expect me to believe that she would never be added to the main roster but as a guest? After this, we didn't get a 2022 Olympic Winter Games, so now we await and see if we get a 2024 Paris Olympics. Which is speculated to be true or possibly to be revealed in June or July. We still don't know, it's unconfirmed at the moment. But there is that uh, thing that went around saying that Sega is working on a, on a games with the Olympics thing again. So maybe it might be the Paris thing again. So we'll wait and see. Fingers crossed if it happens because we did get multiple Olympic titles on the same system. We got a lot of Wii Olympics, Wii U Olympics, and we have now Switch, only one. It made sense to have another one. Asking around for some fans, the series had a steady climb, but dropped down hard. I mean, even the opening movies aren't even CGI anymore. Just in-game graphics, and shorter too. What the team needs to do is this. A good amount of events, both regular and dream, add more characters permanently to the roster, not as guests. I'm very certain they'd heard our complaints about that. I swear, if Pauline misses into the next Olympics and she's a guest, I'm gonna flip. Give us enough unlockables. Give us single player content, because word to the wise, not everyone is able to play multiplayer. Proper online and plenty of side modes. If Mario and Sonic Paris 2024 is confirmed later this year, we would better hope they do this and go back up on the climb. But even if they continue to do the Olympic Games, I do believe at some point we will get a Mario and Sonic um, a proper crossover. What kind it will be, I have no idea. That's all for this topic video today, guys. What do you guys really think about the Olympics? Are you happy with how it's been so far? And if we get a uh, Mario Sonic Paris 24, what do you hope it will be in it? And if we get it, who do you hope will be in the roster? Please, look my mind. I can see Pauline in the roster. I can, I can see, I can see it. Um, yeah. So yeah, who, uh, who knows what uh, will happen next after the Olympics? Hope you like this video and take care.